Is this that place from yesterday? Hour two, the manor of sleep. And yes, we've started in a new location. Or rather, we haven't started where we usually start. This is where we last encountered the girl. Totally missed that. I think I just said there was something on the floor. <laughs> it's uh, like, maybe when I'm walking up to it, I don't have to press X and then I'm pressing X and it's skipping it, maybe. A uh, four-point well key. It looks like an old key, red with rust. A four-point well pattern has been carved into the handle. If I remember rightly, that was the one that was the little door. Yeah, I think so. Is that doll still in the cupboard? Yeah, I was going to ask. You might just have to camera view it. It's on the bottom shelf. No, fair enough. All right. Reed's screens hang down over part of the room where bedding has been spread out on the floor. This looks like it might be an important person's room. Yeah, it's sort of more fully partitioned off. We can no longer step into it. Yeah. Person. Ah, it's Yoshino and the shades that follow her. To like you at all. Let's get out of here though. Actually, I want to go the other way. Okay. There's a partition blocking the way. Also, I was curious if we'd need to heal. So took a fair amount of damage last time, but doesn't look like we do. Okay. How can we look in on the room to the right now, I suppose? Isn't there a hole? But it looks the same too. Sorry, sometimes that does just skip by. I can see into the room through a decorative window in the wall. It's an elegant formal room, with bedding spread out on tatami mats. Yeah. Awaken from her dream for all eternity. Something, something, sacrifice. And yes, to be fair, the controller is old, to be fair. Uh, I was going to say, playing with the PS3 controllers. Don't think anyone owns a new PS3 controller these days. So it might be taking long presses as double presses or something. I love the views from inside that room. Yeah, that's like something's watching us. Also, the fact that I can't change view. Oh, ghost. And put the camera behind me. Didn't give me a focal point. Down the stairs, yeah, and down those stairs is the, um, oh, there's someone up there. It's gone as well. Games bamboozling us with ghosts left, right, and center. Down there is the way to use the key, I was gonna say. That 
That was good. That was subtle. Very subtle. Again, it's creepy, oh. not jump scary. Yes, the blood is Let's gone. Go. But here we are. The door is locked. The keyhole is engraved with a four-point well design. You open the lock with the four-point well key. Does there need to be a thingy for it to register as a ghost? Or like a, so, yeah. a benign ghost? I'm still kind of there. Sac sacred ropes and paper festoons hang from the wall. The wall is cracked and marked with black stains. Yes, you can absolutely still see that a figure, like something passed through and left a stain. of something has been caught on the photo so we finally have something else that we can get developed yes that's someone papered into a wall buried in a wall the wall is riddled with cracks there are black stains the size of people lined at roughly equal intervals along the wall. Yes, I think it is rather heavily uh, hinting that the whole of the walls all over are buried with people. And yes, you can see where they are now. Nooses? I, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's more just um, sacred decorations. Yes, I think there's another... Black stains spread out from the cracks in the wall, being caused by moisture seeping out over the years. Yeah, there's another little doll there. We'll get to that in a bit. There's one. Is that a doll? Maybe? Definitely. And then I think this is us looping. We could also check the map. Yeah, uh, which door do you. Oh, I didn't oh. see that one. Well, that one on the far right. That's where the, the wall was, where we could see through. Mm hmm. To get to the other side of that wall, we could see something. Yeah. Yeah. However, I think that's where the photo to be developed is. So we're not actually going to be able to see through it. Or okay. go through Which it. Which way should we go? I don't know. Bring the map up again, sorry. Oh no, it's the little door here. I think I got turned around. Go through the little door, I would suggest, but... I'll check out this one first. You can make out traces of an old join in the wall. I tried to move it, but it shut tight. Could there be something inside? Right, maybe that's what gets revealed by developing that photo. Because it's in that location. This one? Sure. Yes, we're now on the other side. Oh, I'm tempted to go back through the other one now. Oh, uh, well, we could grab this item and not go down the stairs. Use your camera. Something on the ground? Herbal, Herbal medicine. medicine. Yeah, because we can, we can just go back. The only reason I don't want to is because I'm like wanting to explore this floor before changing the floor, because they usually put sort of new parts of the game behind that. So what's behind this door? Oh, oh, outside. Wait a minute. Yeah, we're we're in the. We are where we started. 
Mm -hmm. I remember now. I remember this place. Yeah, I think there's a ghost somewhere. So yeah. Oh, is it just that apparition strangeness? Oh. I can see it, yeah. Image of something has been caught on the photo. The flickering light from a line of candles shines onto a mound made up of countless graves. So they are graves. Small gravestones are lined against a cracked earthen wall. They are simple, unadorned pieces of hewn stone, and there is nothing written on any of them. There is a well with a wooden frame in the corner of the courtyard. The well lid is off and I can see inside. It's too dark for me to see clearly, but it looks like the well has run dry. Can we peer down it with our camera? <gasps> oh God. Yeah? That was a jump scare. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't get it at all, did I? <laughs> no. <laughs> I kind of hit R1 and R2 at the same time. That, that's the whole, like, if you don't do jump scares very often, they're very effective. Something is reflecting light. Ooh. Sacred water. You can select this item in the item menu to partially restore your health. Can we actually look down the well, though? <laughs> Sorry. Not really. Oh. All right, you got escape. Very good. It's a lantern. The corner of the courtyard is an old stone lantern. And what's through there? Oh, we don't know. Just we've been through here before in the dream, obviously. Didn't yeah. it lead to here? No, it led to the big, um, like there was a big shrine in the back. We were following you. Is that like a tool leaning on the back of there? Don't think so, no. Yeah, there is an ancient, sturdy looking lock on the door. There is an image of two mandarins carved on the lock. In the daydream, you was in here? So we cannot advance either way. Oh, a ghost. Oh, is that the guy who's in the well? No, no. there was a lady in the well. Oh. Okay. Oh, nice. Get out of here. Combo. Oh, I wish I'd gotten that one in the well. <laughs> that was a good scare. So yes, I, I think now we, we are going to go uh, downstairs, maybe? The, the shadow that was on the wall, yeah. Sealed by some strong power. So we have to defeat the ghost, I presume? Oh, that count. Oh, I think you got away with it. Oh, is there more than one? Yes, I don't know if this wants you to press something or oh, it definitely wants you to waggle. Time. Yeah, keep keep it on your toes. They're gonna come through walls at you, I suspect. Those eyes. Yeah. Just behind a wall. That came to benefit. He's down. I thought there was more than one. Oh. 
There is something on the ground where the man in white was. A sleeping stone, one. Carved in relief into a lithograph stone the size of my palm is a horizontal line like the character for one. Yeah. There is a raised bump on the back of the stone, maybe for fitting it into something. Men in white, note added, and yes, I think that might mean so we can open up yet another door. I believe that one was all the way upstairs. Well, I'm not sure if we needed one or more, and we need to know what the code is as well, so... In other words, I don't think we can quite do it yet. Yeah, but keep, keep looking around. If we dead end, we'll soon know. Because it might do something after we insert the piece. Oh. Yes, we're in like the foundation. The passage gets even smaller up ahead. I can feel wind flowing from the smaller end of the passage. I wonder where it leads to. It looks so narrow only a child or small woman would be able to get through. Where are we on the map? Underground passage. Hmm. I am thinking, where could that be in relation to other bits of the house? Well, each of those leads somewhere. Oh, that was a creepy view. be able to see anything. Waiting for it to point. put a ghost behind me to punish me for walking yeah, backwards. Yeah, I was going to say. Alright. Uh. So to go there I need to be an even smaller woman. This way? the way we came. Yes, the small dolls are interesting. I assume maybe for, like, service staff? I was always like... obsessed with small dolls, but it's like usually they're just little cupboards for, like, gas meters and stuff. I can't imagine this big fancy house not having rich owners who would not use a tiny doll like that. Just because I saw a ghost up here earlier. Is this not where the um the door is for the icons? Oh, get back, stay away. He's gone through the door, in fact. Ah. After fitting in the sleeping stone, the contraption began to move. My mute script is engraved on the stone slate. Engraved on the sleeping stone. What's a sleeping stone? You have to make them one, two, oh, three. Right, you can move them twice uh, as many times as the. So I can move this one, two, three. Seems oh. the door has unlocked. To be fair, it, I feel like that wasn't really giving us enough instruction. Unless this is one of those, this is a puzzle that maybe you recognise if you're. Not British. Or maybe I was supposed to find the sleeping stone, which was the stone at the beginning of the manor. Because it's like, we found, we've found we found weird stones and stuff before. Okay. So maybe it's one of those. And I don't know. I might have to look it up later. Tiny door number two? Or three? Ah. We are above the, the courtyard. There's another door over there. I can see a door on the other side of the roof. If I were to walk across the roof, I might fall down. So let's not bother. I was going to say, I would look down with the camera into the courtyard in case there's a ghost. Maybe 
maybe not. Oh, something in a window. I could imagine a ghost being hidden in a window. Image of something has been caught on the photo. all the way. Yeah, I don't really understand what we're supposed to have taken a photo of there. Maybe you're not supposed to, maybe it's just for um, developing. Oh, it's very fraught. To be fair, it's an old building. I'm sure a tile could slide away or break or... Mm, mm. like I don't know whether it's supposed to be ghostly art. No. I think it was. Oh, these dolls are so wee. <laughs> that might be the end of that ghostly encounter already, though. Oh, you missed so much in the game. Tell you what, we'll probably do a second run at some point because there's extras and stuff. Yeah. See if we can catch anything else. She feels like she's looking at something. She yeah. Is. Ah, right. She is. Let's see what this is. Something is reflecting light on the floor. Ah, the two mandarins key. Two mandarins pattern has been carved into the old key. And we have also found a part for the camera obscura. You have acquired equipped function evade. Equipment evade. Equipped function evade. Function addition of escape. When you are caught by a ghost, if your timing pressing the shoot button is good, you can evade the attack. Not today. Nice kill. It's automatically equipped. I have enough to buy three upgrades. I'm going to buy the upgrades. Go for it. What are we going for? Or is it just one of each because they're expensive? Probably. Don't do, what, well, oh, well, let's read them if you hover oh, sorry. over. So max value, maximum amount, you can charge your spirit power. The range within which you can catch ghosts. Sensitivity, displays recharge rate, camera range, depending on charge. And max spirit charge. If you power up, possible charge amount increases. Okay, so that's how much we can charge by. So obviously we want all of these really. Let's go for this one because we don't have it at all. Then it bumps up the price of them. to say max value but okay i mean you can get as many as oh. you want i suppose that one's gone up by more i'd say range because i do keep on trying to blast them from too close uh, from too far away yeah. that has also put the price of that up so upgraded lenses can you go into that can't go into no. that one okay. yet that's fair enough Oh, 
saw the camera obscura pattern got bigger there. But once again, here the impaler uh, child, was it called? The ghost hitting the wall. That's not what I was assuming it was, you know. It, it said it was that. Okay. If we still have the photo. I don't think it gives you descriptions on those, no. Maybe in file or notes. Oh. We have one of these, yeah. Oh. Oh, these ghosts we can collect in our second playthrough. So, Grave Courtyard, after being called into a dream, a woman who threw herself off of a roof. And she's clearly upside down. Yeah. Now that makes sense. So yes, these are Collect the Ghosts, it seems, and okay. we have already missed four. Or, they're not in order, one of the two. Yes, I thought the noise was, um... In one of the cutscenes, there were the four girls hitting metal nails. Yeah. That it sounds like that. Yeah. Oh, it is the same thing then. That's what I'm saying. I think saying. I just didn't understand that that's what you meant from what you said. That's okay. fair enough then. <laughs> it, 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 the little ghost in the room that was doing the hammering that was making the noise was called Impaler. Right, I didn't realise. That was the, the caption of the picture in the game. I think we just have to leave, yeah. We got... Uh, Wait, where did we come in? That little door. We got the Mandarin key and the uh, camera obscura lens. Oh, a disused old sliding door panel has been leaned up against the wall. Okay. Did, did we m move it? Can I see that again? It skips it so fast. There is a joint in the floorboards, right. but it's held fast by something and I can't get it open. Maybe it leads to another floor downstairs. So maybe this is the the target for a shortcut from downstairs. Yeah, so we're above something. If you go down, does it keep the focus where you are? Hmm. Is that the little room where we that where that girl was in? It's the square room. Yeah. Oh, right, with the papered over yeah. little doll that we saw. Right. So, yeah. And that's the... S oh, it's the same room. It's that's why we can hear the it. tapping. Right. Because that's just beneath us. Okay. That's cool. But yes, that's something we're going to be able to access at a later date, I'm guessing. But yes, it's the same room. That's That's interesting. Quite cool. Yes, these are also like sliding door panels, but none of those are interactable with. There's you. Going through that door. Yes, the one that I think we just got a key for, so... I'm sure we'll be able to go straight there without any distractions. Which way is it down? Uh, let's see your map. Because that's probably the most useful. Where does the other one go? So I'm going to have to have a look now. Okay. That, that one leads to the little cupboard that we opened with the, um, the four-point well key. Okay, we don't need to go back there. Then. Yeah, I take it if you use your camera, it doesn't force the perspective to change for us or anything. No, in fact, I'm finding it quite strange that I mean, maybe I need to look it up, but it feels very much like it's just a fixed-angle game. And it doesn't let you switch. 
That's fine if it is. And yes, we have to go all the way back around. But this is the right way. Really? This is the right way? It should be, I think. Yeah, I was wondering if you could interact with it. We've read that before. Something shiny on the floor. Yeah, some more Type 14. Yes, the head tracking, very other Silent Hill as well, to be fair, is very useful. this way but honestly you're probably better off trying to keep track on the map as well no I think we're back in the main main corridor but then hmm. I was probably down the other staircase and through that door then yeah there that's where you're going oh no it's just around the corner wait what? <laughs> how did I... How do you get in there? Oh, all the way around. So, like... Yeah, you are going back up and down the other stairs. Because you're on the right level, but that's the a room that's attached to the top set of stairs down. Right. So, what, I'm going back up here? Yeah, you're going back around. It is a bit convolutedly laying out, laid out. I'm probably not going to be able to remember it all the time. Oh, I'll get used to it. Waiting for that to be put back at some point as well. I really like the courtyard, it looks really cool. It does rather. Ancient sturdy looking lock with two mandarins. You use the two mandarins key to remove the lock. courtyard and tomb from that daydream. In the dream you was inside. We got the Manor of Sleep notes updated and there is now old film in the camera obscura. Musty film. Mmm, musty. I 
And I'm afraid we're going to have to leave that phone ringing for a much longer time than is normal, because we're going to see you next time. <laughs>